everyone, Wes here. Uh, so I wanted to show you kind of a, uh, a quick little fix on something that has been bothering me for uh, a little bit of time now. Uh, it's not that big of an issue, so I've never really gotten around to figuring it out, but uh, I just took a couple of minutes now and I wanted to share the solution with everyone. So the problem that I was running into is when you have text that spans multiple lines, however, um, because I have text wrapping on, it's actually um, just one line here. So uh, often what happens is I'll be at the, the front here and I'll be typing like maybe a P tag and then I want to go to the end of the line and um, I want to go right here and then maybe close the P tag. However, a problem is that um, with Sublime Text, if you were to hit the end of line keyboard shortcut, which is uh, on a Mac, it's uh, Command Over. Uh, if you're on a Windows computer, you can you can also hit the end key, uh, and that'll bring you to the end of the line. Uh, but you can probably see what the problem is here is that my cursor has gone to the end of the uh, viewable line and not the end of the actual line number one here. Um, so let me look what happens when I when I bump up the text size now my cursor is in the middle of the second line here and if I were to resize you can see that it just moves along where is it right here now so that's not really helpful because what are the chances that you want to go to the actual end of the line here which is right in the middle of your uh, your content what I want to do is uh, go to the actual end of the line which is right here uh, and this is extremely helpful when you're on using multiple cursors and maybe you want to go to the front here open up a p tag and then jump to the end of it and close your p tag however now you see that we're in trouble because uh, I've closed here and something's going on here not a really good solution so let me go back uh, so I figured out I went to sublime text docs and I was looking through the commands uh, because uh, basically what I, I want to do here is overwrite my keyboard shortcut which is command left or right uh, or some people like to map it to command uh, semicolon or something like that you can do whatever you want um, the main thing we need to look at here is this move to command has um, two options we have position and by default it's just set to EOL um, and EOL takes into it doesn't take into account line wrapping so it's going to put us right here uh, however, hard EOL is uh, going to ignore line wrapping and go right to the end of it. Uh, so if you go to your Sublime Text Preferences and then uh, click on Key Bindings dash User, uh, we're going to open up the actual Key Bindings, uh, your your Key Bindings Settings file. You may or may not have other um, may or may not have other Key Bindings in here, uh, depending if you've done other customization. Um, but uh, what I want to show you right here is I've already written it, but let's walk through it real quick. Um, I've set mine to super right, um, and basically super right is command right on a Mac. Uh, you could set that to super semicolon or um, pretty much anything you want. You can you can play with the keys depending on, on your own preferences here. Uh, you'll see that move to command that we just took a look, and we have this argument. So we're saying to hard end of line um, and basically what we're doing here is we're overwriting uh, the default functionality of just going to the end of line with hard end of line. Uh, we also have another one here this is extend uh, and what extend means is should I select it or not. So now if I give that a save and head back to my content right here I'm at the beginning of the line here. Now when I push command over you'll see that my cursor jumps right to the end of it. Uh, so I could be on three of them here. Oops. I could open my P tag, do command right, jumps to the end, and close them all off nicely. Um, so, and the next thing is that you probably want that for the the opposite way, right? So if I hit command left, I'm still just jumping to the front of this line here. So it's the exact same thing as super plus left. We do the exact same thing except we switch out right with left. Um, so if I give that a save, I put my cursor in the middle of these sentences, 
command left moves it to the front of each line. Um, there's two more I have in here, and you may or may not be interested in these, but uh, what I like to do a lot is select the entire line, and I do the command shift right. And basically that does the exact same thing except it selects it. Uh, so you'll see I'm running into the same problem here where the rest of line number one isn't being selected. So pretty simple. Uh, we use the exact same key combos we did, but I added in the shift keyword as you can see right here. Um, and basically this is going to overwrite the command shift right, command shift left uh, keyboard shortcuts. Uh, the other thing we've done here is we've added the extend. Here it's false, which means it's not going to select the text. Uh, and here it's true, which means it will select the text. So when I give it a save, now if I put my cursor at the front, jump to the front, command shift right, all three lines are selected and I can then go ahead and uh, s start doing whatever I want. I could wrap them, uh, do whatever I really want. Um, one downside to that is when you're working with indented text, let's say I have a div and then inside of that I have a P, low there, and I was here and I wanted to select this entire P, uh, I could hit command shift right. Uh, downside is that it selects those two indented space where um, previously it wouldn't select those for you. Oops, let me comment that one out. See, so it would just select just the text. Uh, so still looking for a way around that, but a lot better than normal. Uh, so let me know what you think, and thanks a lot.